After an afternoon spent with their father in downtown Cortland, Ohio, shopping for red licorice at Cupid's Treats, and after lunch at the Ping Ping Palace, Lily and Junebug dozed amid the flowers and grasses of a low green hill. Their house is just visible far and away in the distance. Mud Pup the dog barks and chases a butterfly. They didn't know the names of the flowers in which they lay. Pollen dusty daisies, wild violets, cornflowers. So Junebug named them herself, touching a finger to the soft center of each. Carnation, Lily, and Lily, she said again, touching the cinnamon freckled nose of her little sister Lily. And Rose, she said, plucking a quite unrose-like stem of Queen Anne's lace from which a fat bumblebee lazily arose. Lily and Junebug discuss the chubby gray clouds that move across the azure sky. One looks like a teapot. One looks like a crazy sneaker, its toe curling and uncurling. One looks like Junebug and Lily's Aunt Vera. Look, yells Lily, it's Aunt Vera. Oh, how I'd love to be in her stinkberry patch, smelling the yummy smells, the icky bugs biting my arms, Aunt Vera making marshmallow ambrosia, the charcoal bricks giving me black fingers. side. 